excited. I'd like to take a quick second to show you how to take a picture with the camera on your Chromebook and then crop it so that it looks really good when you submit it on Canvas. So here we go. I'm going to go down in the corner over here. You may see the camera on this little toolbar. You can also click the launcher over on this side. It may show up right here, but you can always see all of the options by clicking that little up arrow there. And then the camera is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to open up the camera and you can see me and then here's the document right here. So this is the document that I want to submit. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take a quick picture of that, make sure that it's framed right. So we click on that and then that picture actually shows up right here. So I'm going to click on that and this looks pretty good, but you notice I've got a bunch of extra stuff. This isn't going to look very good when I submit this. So I'm going to click the little pencil. Pencil's right there. And then you'll notice that down here there's a little cropping tool. It's a box with some extra lines on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. We're going to drag each one of those corners to the corner of the document. We're going to make sure that this looks good. Not a big deal if you've got an extra finger in there or something. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And I'm going to click done on this one. And then I'm also going to rename this. So I'm going to rename this. Uh, let's say that this is the assignment for 1.2a and it's on integers. And I'm going to put my name on there, okay, so that the teacher knows that, that uh, you know, where it's coming from. And it's also a good organization tool for me. So we're all set here. Now, if you want to get really fancy, something else you could do is you could hit the print button right here. And if your teacher wants things done as a PDF, you can save this as a PDF. Now, there it may come up that you've printed somewhere before, but I'm going to go ahead and click Save as a PDF. I'm going to click Save. And it's actually going to save that to my files and it shows me right where it is. OK, so um, it's going to put it in my downloads. It's right next to the one. This is this was a JPEG. Now it's going to be a PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and click save um, and I'm going to make sure it doesn't have both of those on the end there. So I'm going to hit that. We're going to click save and then we're all set to go. Now I'm going to come over here to 1.2a. I'm going to click the submit button and I'm going to click choose file. And this is going to let me find this on my computer here. Now, um, it may show up in files. It may show up in Google Drive. On this one, it happens to show up in the download. So I'm going to click on that. And notice that I can either do the PDF version or I can do the JPEG version. Uh, either one is fine. But teachers, especially math teachers, they usually pr prefer the PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the PDF. Um, and notice that you could actually, we could right click and we could delete that one if we don't want that one anymore. So that would be a great idea. Then we don't get them confused. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on that. I'm going to submit the PDF. Um, it's got the PDF right there. I hit submit. Now, as soon as this submits, it's always a good idea to view what you've submitted. So you know if it looks good, then you can resubmit. I'm going to click submission details. That's going to come up here. I'm going to click the view feedback. And then we just want to take a quick look at this and see if it looks good. OK, so you'll notice that it has a, a header on that right there. And let's slide down and let's take a look at this. Yep, that looks great. OK, we can tell that the teacher can, can see exactly what's on there. All right. So that's how you take a picture with your Chromebook, crop it, change it into a PDF and submit it on Canvas.